Attention, Sergeant on deck. We frequently addressed what Jedi think of clones and even what clones think of other clones on this channel, but we have yet to cover what the Republic's recruited officers thought of clones. As has been established, there were many naturally born officers in the Republic, including much of the Republic Navy. In this video, we'll be discussing five of those admirals and what they thought of the troops under their command. First of all, we have Admiral Yularen. As seen in the Clone Wars, Yularen was a rather effective officer, though he wasn't much a fan of the Jedi, who he considered reckless and unfit for command. Despite his dislike of the Jedi, however, he did have an admiration for the Republic's clones, who he considered highly competent and willing to follow orders. Clones, much more than Jedi, strictly adhered to the chain of command while retaining ingenuity, both of which were traits that Yularen valued highly. Another admiral that held a favourable view of clones was Admiral Killian. Killian had a close relationship with the clones that were part of his bridge crew, who he trusted and admired. He valued their lives to the point where he was fully prepared to risk his life alongside theirs, also that other clones on the Endurance could escape. His willingness to die to help other clones live is something not really seen in any other officer. Barton Coburn, the admiral assigned to Jedi Master Plo Koon, was another officer that worked closely with the clones under his command. Coburn was involved closely with Commander Wolf, who sometimes operated as a fleet officer as well, and had a high level of trust in him. The two were frequently involved together in rescue missions, most of which were fluid situations with high levels of risk. Despite this, Coburn displayed a high level of confidence in the wolf pack in both cases, implying a high level of respect as well. That said, the officer that had the highest level of respect for clones was, surprisingly, one that was never featured in the Clone Wars. We're talking about then Captain Gillard Paleon, the same Captain Paleon that would later become Grand Admiral and the face of the Imperial Remnant. But before he became the Old Man of the Empire, Paleon was the captain in the judicial forces that transferred to the Republic Navy when the Clone Wars began. It was the first of many galactic wars in which Paleon would fight. Paleon actually liked the clones under his command quite a bit, more so than he liked his recruited subordinates. In his view, many of the officers in the Republic Navy got their positions through family connections and no real work of their own, and in contrast, the clones were both competent and fairly humble about it. He considered the clones under his command to be actual humans, a trait not shared with many other officers in the navy, and respected them more than most natural humans as well. Unfortunately, most of the Republic had a less flattering view of the clones. Admiral Tarkin is a notable example of this. Tarkin, under whose guidance the Stormtrooper program began recruiting, believed the clones to be little more than living droids and saw too much of the Jedi in them for his liking. Like the Jedi, Tarkin believed that the personalities many clones were developing led to drastic inefficiencies and constantly lobbied to have them replaced. So those were what five prominent Republic officers thought of the clones and although it seems like most of them did actually like the clones, we kind of have that Clone Wars bias where the directors of the show mostly showed admirals and officers that did like the clones, whereas there were hundreds more that actually agreed with Tarkin that we just never learnt about. So as per usual, what do you guys think? Which Republic officer was your favourite? And more importantly, do you think a video on Captain Paleon would be a good idea? Feel free to post your thoughts in the comment section below. And just before you go guys, you know the drill, make sure you check out all the links in the description below if you want to join the wider Geetsies community on our Geetsies gaming network with Gmod and Roblox, as well as our discords, and if you want to further support me, please check out the Patreon. And if you are a fan of history, make sure you check out my second channel called The Front, where we discuss World War 1, World War 2, Vietnam War topics, and we'll soon be expanding all those topics and pretty much just covering anything history so if you have a weakness for history make sure you join me over there and as per usual guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video